Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Sa mga nakaraang video ay itinuro ko na ang solving quadratic equations by extracting the square root, by factoring at by completing the square. Kung hindi nyo pa napanood yun, i-click nyo na lang dito sa taas or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin kasi kumpleto na ang lessons from first quarter hanggang fourth quarter. Okay, so ngayon naman ang i-discuss ko sa inyo is solving quadratic equations using quadratic formula. Ito ay katuli pa rin ng learning task number 3, solve for the variable of the following quadratic equations, letter D. So pang last na ito. Number 1, we have x squared plus 8x plus 15 equals 0. First, kailangan muna nating i-identify yung value ng a, b, at saka ng c. So, yung value ng a is positive 1, yung katabi ng quadratic term. Yung value ng b naman, yung katabi ng linear term, which is 8. At yung value ng c ay positive 15 na yung constant term. Ngayon, ang quadratic formula is x equals negative plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times ac all over 2a. Ito yung gagamitin nating formula. Ngayon, isubstitute natin yung values ng a, b, tsaka c dito sa ating formula. So, that is x minus, ang b natin is 8 plus minus the square root of, ang b natin is 8 squared minus 4 times ang a natin is 1 times ang c natin is 15 all over 2 times ang a natin is 1. Na-substitute na natin, isimplify na natin yung mga nasa loob ng radicals. So, that is x equals negative plus minus 80 squared equals 64. Minus 4 times 1 times 15 equals 60. All over 2 times 1 equals 2. Okay, next, simplify ulit natin yung nasa radical, 64 minus 60 equals 4. Then, isimplify natin what is the square root of 4, that is equal to 2, kasi 2 times 2 equals 4. And then, pwede na natin isimplify to, ihiwalay natin yung plus at saka minus. So, meron tayong dalawang roots dito, unahin natin yung positive 2. So, that is x equals negative 8 plus 2 over 2. Then, simplify, negative 8 plus 2 equals negative 6 over 2. Negative 6 divided by 2 equals negative 3. So, ito yung first root natin. Ngayon, kunin naman natin yung minus kasi plus minus ito. So, negative 8 minus 2 over 2. Negative 8 minus 8 magkapareho sila ng sign, add. So, 8 plus 2 equals 10. Then, copy the sign that is negative. And then, divided by 2 equals negative 5. So, the second root equals negative 5. The solution of this quadratic equation is negative 3 or negative 5. Okay? Next, we have 2x squared plus 8x minus 5 equals 0. Kagaya lang din ng ginawa natin kanina. Identify natin yung values ng a, b, at saka ng c. So, ang value ng a is 2. Ang value ng b ay 8. Ang value naman ng c is negative 5. Using the quadratic formula, substitute the values. That is x equals negative, ang b natin is 8, plus minus the square root of b is 8 is squared minus 4 times ang a natin is 2 times ang C natin is negative 5, all over 2 times ang A natin is 2. Simplify yung nasa loob ng radical. So, we have x equals negative 8 plus minus 8 squared or 8 times 8 equals 64. Negative 4 times 2 times negative 5 equals positive 40. 
all over 2 times 2 equals 4. Simplify yung nasa loob ng radical. So, 64 plus 40 is equal to 104. Then, what is the square root of 104? Since hindi siya perfect square, pwede nating kunin yung square root niya by prime factorization. Or pwede rin namang mag-isip kayo ng number na factor ni 104 na perfect square. That is 4 at saka 26. So, 4 times 26. Ngayon, perfect square yung 4, ba? So, what is the square root of 4? That is equal to 2. So, ilalabas natin yung 2, ang matitira is 26 sa loob. Kasi nga, hindi siya perfect square. So, ito yung answer niya. Negative 8 plus minus 2 square root of 26 all over 4. Ngayon, isolve natin yung plus muna. Paghiwalayin muna natin. Ang ibig sabihin kasi nito is negative 8 divided by 4 plus 2 square root of 26 divided by 4. Okay? Next, what is negative 8 divided by 4? That is equal to negative 2. Then, simplify natin yung 2 fourth kasi hindi natin pwedeng i-divide yung 26 tsaka 4 kasi may radical sign siya. Ang pwede lang natin i-divide is yung mga whole number. 2 divided by 4 equals 1 half. So, 1 yan or pwede namang wag nyo na lang ilagay yung 1. That is square root of 26 over 2. Yan na yung final answer. Pero kung gusto nyo namang i-convert to decimal form, pwede kayong gumamit ng calculator at ang lalabas ay 0.55 to the nearest 100. Next, kunin naman natin yung answer kapag ang operation is minus. So, negative 8 over 4 minus 2 square root of 26 over 4. Negative 8 divided by 4 equals negative 2 minus, kagaya lang din siya dito, square root of 26 over 2. Or kung gusto ninyong i-convert to decimal form, so that is negative 4.55. So, the final answer is equal to x minus plus minus square root of 26 over 2. So, ganyan siya kapag hindi siya perfect square. Number 3, we have 2x squared plus 3x equals 27. Dito naman, yung linear term natin is nasa right side. So, kailangan muna natin i-convert to standard form. Ano nga ba ulit yung standard form? ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So, i-transpose natin yung positive 27, magiging negative 27 na siya. Ang bagong equation na natin ay 2x squared plus 3x minus 27 equals 0. What is the value of a? That is 2. Ano yung value ng b? That is 3. Ano yung value ng c? That is negative 27. Using the quadratic formula, substitute the values, we have x equals, ang b natin is 3 plus minus square root of b is 3 squared minus 4 times ang a natin is 2 times ang c natin is negative 27 all over 2 times ang a natin is 2. Simplify the operation. So, unahin muna natin yung nandito. 3 squared equals positive 9. Negative 4 times 2 times negative 27 equals positive 216. All over, 2 times 2 equals 4. Simplify natin ito. 9 plus 216 equals 225. Then what is the square root of 225? Perfect square siya. That is equal to... 15. So, our answer is negative 3 plus minus 15 all over 4. Pero hindi pa dyan nagtatapos kasi plus minus yung operation dito. So, kailangan muna natin kunin yung first root na positive or plus. So, kunin natin yung negative 3 over 4. Pakiwalayin natin. Plus 15 over 4. Since magkapareho sila ng denominator, just add the numerator. So, negative 3 plus 15 equals 12 
and then copy the denominator, simplify, 12 divided by 4 equals positive 3. Ang first root natin is 3. Next, yung negative naman, or minus. So, we have x, negative 3 fourth minus 15 over 4. Magkapareho ulit sila lang, denominators. So, subtract lang natin yung numerator. Negative 3 minus 15, magkapareho ng sign, add, then copy the sign. So, that is negative 18, then copy the denominator. Simplify or reduce to lowest term, i-divide natin by 2. Negative 18 divided by 2 equals negative 9. 4 divided by 2 equals positive 2. So, the answer is negative 9 over 2. The solution of this quadratic equation equals positive 3 or negative 9 over 2. So, yun lamang. Sana nakatulong itong video na to sa pagsagot ninyo sa mga modules ninyo. Abangan ninyo yung mga susunod pa na videos. Kung nagustuhan ninyo ang video na to, please like at mag-comment na rin kayo below. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral ng mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!